The Aviators was made possible by... When the unexpected happens, the Lifesaver provides one hour of emergency attitude reference, giving you the time you need to land safely. In a mission's darkest moment, trust Mid-Continent Instruments. Now for the first time on TV, the stories and reports of the people who fly and the aircraft they fly. And you are invited in an exciting, house-pumping new television series designed for everyone who has ever gazed skywards and dreamt of slipping the bonds of Earth. The Aviators. Today on The Aviators, we take a look at the future of air transportation with the Airbus A380. We peek inside a Cessna 206 during an annual inspection. We're back in the simulator to see what happens when a private pilot takes control of an airliner. And we get a ride inside the cockpit of the L-29 Delta. From the Boundary Bay Airport, this is The Aviators. Recently, the aviators went into a simulator to get step-by-step -step instruction on how to land an airliner. Our pilot was correspondent Jeff Lewis, who flies airliners for a living. This week, we return to the simulator to see if a private pilot can land a jetliner. The scenario is our pilots have become disabled and someone noticed my aviators had made an assumption. <laughs> I am a private pilot. I'm going to step into the controls and I'm going to try and save 90 odd people. After getting myself settled, I managed to get a hold of air traffic control. Houston Center, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Aircraft uh, calling Houston, go ahead, say your identification. Uh, Houston, I'm a private pilot and I'm at the controls of an airliner here. Our, our pilots have become disabled and uh, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Roger, copy that. Can you identify the aircraft that you're on? Uh, we're at cruise autopilot and I'm flying an Embraer right now, an Embraer 190. Okay, Roger, we copy, uh, show you 12 miles from the Innocent intersection. That's giving you about 20 miles to Houston Airport. Okay, it looks like we've started our descent. Okay, well, it's, uh, just stay calm, you can do this. It's just like landing any other aircraft. We're showing your heading as 247. Do you see where that is? Yep, 247. Okay, uh, please turn the aircraft to the left, heading 160. And you can look on the glare shield uh, near where the altitude select was. It should say heading select. Okay, so I'll just uh, turn the heading select counterclockwise to 160? That's correct. Okay, here we go. Unlike any other plane I'm used to, I'm making all my heading and altitude changes on the aircraft's FCU panel and trusting the autopilot to do the rest. Now ATC is asking some questions that are making me a little nervous. Yeah. Roger. Do you have any idea how many passengers are on board, sir? It looks like it's a full house, and I think it holds 94 or something like that. Okay, and um, if you could uh, just let us know uh, what happened up there. Uh, the pilots appear to be uh, out of commission right now. I, I think they might have had the fit. Okay, Roger, we copy. Um, just security pro protocol, uh, we're going to be scrambling two F-16s to come and intercept you. Uh, they will remain clear, you don't have to worry about them, but it's uh, for security reasons. Well, now that I've made some new friends, ATC manages to guide me around and I have the airport in sight. At this point, I'm informed that I will be manually flying the aircraft. Now the fun starts. Uh, we've cleared all the other traffic out of the way. And we copy you just going through 6,000 feet at 250 knots. Confirm that? Uh, coming through 6,000, 5,800 now, 250 knots. And if the field is at our 11 o'clock, I have it in sight. On your control yoke, you should see a red button. That red button will disable your autopilot. Okay, I'm using a push to talk on the panel right now. Is there a trigger or something on the yoke? Uh, there is, and it's uh, next to the electric trim, just above the autopilot disconnect. Autopilot. Okay, Auto got it. So I recommend Auto continue to send down to 3,000 feet, and I can Auto hear your autopilot alarm Auto going off. Please uh, Auto click, double click the autopilot Auto Auto disconnect there, and that sounds a lot better. Roger did it. Yeah, altitude is now your discretion. You can enter a left hand circuit, and I recommend you enter a left circuit for 33 right or left, uh, whatever runway your choice, the wind is out of the north. Okay, it looks like I'm on a heading of about 33 now, so that would be the runway that we're coming up to. 
think we'll take 33 and we'll do the uh, we'll do the left circuit. Roger. Altitude heading is your discretion. You are clear to land on runway of your choice. I'm in good shape now. I can see the airport. I've made my left turns into the pattern. My flaps are set and the landing gear is down. Now I just have to land the plane. Okay, remember, this is a larger aircraft than you used to fly. You have to flare it a little higher. When you hear the voice call out 20, that's when you should flare the airplane and bring the thrust levers to idle and just plant the airplane onto the runway. Uh, Houston, how am I looking on your end? Okay, you're in good shape. Your speed's a little high and we're showing you a little uh, below the slope. So just hold that altitude and still, until the, uh, the runway's a little bigger in your window. We're still showing you a little fast, but you're, doing, you're in good shape. You're doing a great job. Finally, I've hit the moment of truth. I've cleared the trees and I'm ready to touch down. Can I do it? This is a simulator, but it'll behave exactly like the real thing. I've planned the approach in my head and now I'm ready to carry it out. But I've never landed anything more than a single engine Cessna. This airplane weighs 41 tons. All right, this is actually looking like a... Don't let your speed get back too low. No less than what landing. you're doing now. Okay, you're short final, you're in great shape. Just put that airplane on the runway and good luck. 30, 20, 10. Okay, we show you on the ground. Congratulations, you've landed the aircraft. Well done. Thanks very, very much, Houston. Well, we're down and, uh, and we're safe. And, and you know they say, any landing you can walk away from is a, is a good one. And uh, I think I think this is a pretty good one, all things considered. When we were on short final, it's really strange because it did not feel or look dissimilar to what I'm used to landing on any, any runway in the 206. But we're down, we're safe, and, uh, and this private pilot just landed an airliner. <laughs> wow. Next week, we'll show you the final feature in the simulator. Can a non-pilot at the controls of an airliner land an airplane? Our cameraman, Devin Lund, takes his shot at trying to land the Embraer 190. I don't think the, there are any odds. I think it's 100% I'm going to not land this aircraft. The Aviators, for everyone who has ever gazed skywards. For more information on today's segments, visit www.theaviators.tv.